Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. So jumping right into some updates. Our first update is around a Veterans Day event happening here at RMHS uh, next Friday. So RMHS will actually hold back-to-back -back events on Friday starting at 11 a.m. The day will start with a dedication of the new uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial and Monument out front of RMHS, and then we'll move into recognition of veterans from all eras, especially Vietnam uh, veterans. They'll receive the 50th anniversary Welcome Home lapel button. And then at 12.15, we will shift into uh, a, a ceremony to name, officially name the track after the beloved and respected Running Memorial High School teacher and track coach, Mr. Hal Croft. Uh, Mr. Croft is also a highly decorated Vietnam veteran and also a Reading, former Reading School Committee member. So all are invited to attend. You'll see additional information in the flyer here in the written newsletter. Second update is around the Reading Symphony Orchestra. The Reading Symphony Orchestra will host uh, the, a concert on Sunday, November 6th, this upcoming Sunday at 3.30 p.m. at Enslow Performing Arts Center. As you may know, this is also the first uh, live concert since the pandemic, uh, and admission is free to all. So again, there's a link to a poster with more information in the written newsletter. And our last update is from our health service uh, department. You'll see in the written newsletter a link to a, um, a notification from the DPH and the American uh, Academy of Pediatrics with suggestions for preventing respiratory illness and keeping children healthy during this fall and winter season. Uh, so there's a link to that. And also just like to uh, also point out that the health department has worked with Vaccinate Rx to coordinate our next vaccine clinic, which will be held on November 16th from 2 to 5 p.m. at Killam. You can link through the register uh, through the link in the written newsletter. Shifting into some shout outs, we have a bunch of shout outs this week. First is to the RMHS Marching Band. We're thrilled to share that the RMHS Marching Band and Color Guard came in first in last week's Nesba State Finals. Congratulations, huge accomplishment. Uh, RMHS also won for Best Color Guard and also for Best Music. Our community should be really proud of the 38 students who participated, including the nine seniors who have worked really hard throughout their time here and throughout this season. So uh, we also include in the written newsletter a link to watch uh, the performance. Second shout, I'd like to give uh, to an RMHS student, uh, Jack Quinn. So he's a senior tri-captain. Uh, he placed second at the Middlesex League Championship meet on Monday, October 31st to earn Middlesex League All-Conference. I think even more exciting is he says time of 15.29 in the 5K course is the fastest 5K time uh, recorded in school history. So congratulations on this remarkable achievement. Uh, the Boys and Girls Cross Country team will move on and compete in the state cross country finals and cross country meet at Rentham on November 12th. Next shout out goes to an RPS staff member and community member, Monica Acker. Congrats to Monica, who was a tutor at Wood End and also a, a um, RPS parent for the recent publication of her children's book, Brave Like Mom. So the book is a touching story about a girl uh, whose mom has chronic illness and how she is brave, just like her mom. So in the written newsletter, there is a link to an article on some local newspaper about Monica and about, uh, about the tech. So congratulations to Monica. And last, I'd like to give a shout out to all those who participated in Coolidge Nature's Classroom, uh, which was an exciting and fun learning opportunity for all of our students last week, uh, with special recognition to the staff members who spent their time as, uh, as chaperones, Ursula Abad, Jerry Coyne, uh, Marianne Cascuna, uh, Sarah Marchant, Ashley Nagel, Christine Paglia, Paul Simpson, John Thomas, and Shannon Turner. So thank you, those staff. And you'll see here some of the, the pictures from that fun time. Uh, and again, great learning experience for our students. As always, let us know if you have any questions or feedback. Uh, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Go Rockets.